Uh, my name is uh, Ignacio Mata. I'm a molecular biologist um, and specialized in uh, uh, genetic of Parkinson's disease that works at the VA hospital and also the University of Washington in uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, I've been working in uh, Parkinson's disease for um, over f 15 years and uh, uh, I'm originally from Spain and I had the opportunity to travel to uh, South America in 2015, uh, 2005 to try to, uh, uh, to give a talk about genetics in Parkinson's disease. Uh, on this trip I realized that there was a huge interest for genetic studies in South America, in Latin America. However, there, there were not enough resources to, to, uh, uh, to proceed uh, to these this complicated uh, projects. So we, well, I decided to, to take upon uh, that on myself to try to provide uh, genetic testing for um, uh, 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 patients with Parkinson's disease in Latin America uh, for free. So we, we thanks to a, a PDF grant, we were able to enroll in our studies more than 1,500 patients with Parkinson's disease and also 1,500 controls. Uh, we have patients uh, from six different countries. There's nine institutions, so some of the countries have several institutions that are providing patients to this uh, project. And this year, we were lucky enough to get one of the uh, three awards that the PDF uh, gave to have a, a much larger uh, study, it's a three-year study, uh, in which we are gonna uh, uh, perform the first uh, genome-wide association study in Latinos in the world. So it's a, it's a very exciting uh, project. Latinos are very uh, underrepresented in uh, not only genetic studies, but in, in research studies. Uh, and I think it's very important to get them involved because I, I think uh, they, might, they might hold the key to, to understand a little bit better uh, what the Parkinson's disease uh, is. And the, the reason why is because uh, preliminary studies that we have done looking at genetic variants uh, that are most, mostly common in Europeans are not uh, present in a lot of the countries in uh, Latin America. However, the incidence of the disease is very similar. So I believe that there are genes that might be population specific to Latinos that might give us uh, more pieces of the puzzle of this really complex disease uh, and we might be able to understand much better what this disease or how this disease uh, appears and how it progresses. Uh, so. Uh, right now, uh, what we're trying to do is we're, we already have the samples in uh, Latin America and I'm trying to uh, raise awareness in Latinos in the U.S. To, to convince them that it is very important and their, their uh, health is very important to try to find a cure for this uh, disease. So with the help of uh, the PDF, uh, the Mohammed Ali uh, Parkinson Center and other centers around the country that have a huge uh, Latino uh, community, we're trying to recruit all those patients uh, to try to um, uh, generate a cohort that we can use to replicate the results that hopefully we'll find in this uh, in this larger study that we're uh, uh, taking right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get as many Latinos in the U.S. Uh, as possible involved, and uh, hopefully we can uh, find. Uh, the, 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 the pieces are, are missing and understanding uh, the, uh, have a big picture of what Parkinson's disease is. Uh, and uh, as I said, it is very important that we uh, uh, get uh, Latinos involved in the U.S. to try to, to get to this goal.